So for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm going to mess around with this a little bit. Uh, I've never really done a commentary video, but my uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 channel is doing better. I'm getting a lot of subs, over 10,000 views a month. So thank you for the people who watch, and I'm just going to watch along with a, a series that I kind of wanted to check out. Uh, this guy Krygor, he's Cabal right now. He's actually the, the number one ranked player on Fight Cake. Which is pretty nuts considering how competitive Fight Kid is. As Smoke combos him into a different dimension. Uh, amazing corner combo by Cabal. I'm actually a Cabal player and I don't even know how to do that combo. Yeah, so he's got uh, Cabal and Nightwolf right now. So the two kings of the rush down. The king of the run jab. You know, it's funny. I've, uh, I've been playing this game since it came out. I think it came out when I was let's see, probably about 10. And uh, I've had my fair share of beatings, but none worse than at the hands of Nightwolf. His, uh, his run jab beatdown is insane. So, if you look through the Fight Cade replays, it looks like this guy, uh, Linrock and Krygor, they must know each other because they scrimmage quite a bit. And Linrock definitely holds his own. Really nice combo. That's one weird thing with the uh, smoke. Most people, they uh, select smoke and they uh, transform to human smoke at the, the uh, beginning of the round, but you can't do that when he gets substituted in mid-match, so that's kind of a strange matchup issue for people using smoke when you're playing the two-on-two. Yeah, again, absolutely insane run jab pressure out of Cabal. Now, for those of you who don't know much about the uh, the technique and technicalities of this game, the run jab is done by alternating run jab, but you have to do it quick enough to actually cancel the jab. And uh, if you do it the right way, they're kind of playing jabs here. Uh, if you do it the right way, you can actually... Really run super fast. Yeah, look at these punishes. It's insane to be able to get six hits out of uh, an air punish like that with Cabal. I, I, again, in the instant air fireball, it's another thing I... It's just astounding that you can do it that quickly. So, I don't know what country Krygor is from. Uh, I don't know about his previous tournament play. I've watched competitive Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 for a long time. Um, I've actually exchanged messages from time to time with Shock. So, you can look up his Instagram. He posts a lot of cool stuff, and he will probably respond if you shoot him a message. I was actually talking to Shock about how to get um, a good custom like, arcade in a box uh, controller for this game, like an arcade stick, but uh, I guess they're no longer made. Oh, amazing combo by Nightwolf. The air juggles at the Tomahawk is absolutely nuts. Wow. Um, I struggle fighting Ermac. Uh, he's just a tough guy to fight. We've got two Ermacs here. My thing with Ermac and Smoke being on the receiving end of these endless 11-hit combos where getting juggled for 30 seconds at a time, it's... Feels like you should go make a sandwich and then return. Now, if you watch a lot of the high-level players, they don't do many jumps. It's a lot of just run jab. Amazing combo by Ermac. Uh, not much jumping. That's one thing I struggle with. But if you watch the high-level players, they rarely jump. You know, I have uh, actually chatted with a few people who play this game online. Uh, Detroit Ballin. I've talked to him a few times, and he was a nice guy. He's also one of the best who plays online uh, in Fight Kid. Um, he has a custom fight stick, he told me. And playing on a fight stick versus controller is a totally different thing. I play on an Xbox Elite. Um, it's really good, but some of these custom fight sticks I've seen... I was actually at Chicago uh, Galloping Ghost Arcade a few weeks ago, and I was lucky enough to be able to play on one of the original cabinets, and it still held up. 
Uh, the control sticks controlled great, and the CRT was looking really good. And if you have questions about my uh, video settings, um, I run this on my computer. I do a few <laughs> tweaks to try to get the classic look. Ooh, another sick combo by Heavy. But yeah, uh, I have actually have had people ask me about the video settings, so if you want to know them, I'll post them. But uh, this setup, to me, made it look the most uh, true to the arcade. Well Big combo by Ermac. Ooh, another mirror matchup. So... There's another game within this game that a lot of people don't know about, which is the frame advantage. Um, oh, brutal corner combo. Here we go. Oh, oh, almost had the big, big combo there. Um, so frame advantage determines who will actually win a game of run jabbing. Um, essentially, one of the players each round is given a frame advantage for striking. And um, the YouTuber Ketchup goes into pretty good depth. If you look up his video on it, he will explain it. He also has videos explaining the run jab. Um, despite the fact that I post a lot of good games, I'm more or less a, a novice at this game because I compare myself to these great players and I'm nothing compared to them. They absolutely mop the floor with me when I do play them. Great punish by smoke. Rygor just ripping these combos ridiculously quickly. Again. I noticed a lot of the really high level players never do fatalities. They just get right to the next game. Seems like there's just five players people use. It's Nightwolf, Ermac, Smoke, Smoke uh, Cabal's another one of them, and I see a lot of Sub Zero. Wow, unbelievable! For those of you who don't play, it's it's pretty difficult to be able to hit those combos consistently, especially when your adrenaline's going, your heart's pumping, you're playing in the middle of the game against. Someone who's defending everything. It's very hard to land these perfect combos. Oh, great combo by Smoke. Gets the corner punish. Oh, 11 hits. Maybe Matt goes himself. So one thing I wonder about with these super high level players like, uh, like Krygor is... How does he really find people to practice with? Um, it's not fun to get beat on, so... You gotta find people who are both good and patient. So... Uh, I live on the East Coast. One thing I've been curious to do is to check out the East Coast Throwdown Tournaments. I know they do them kind of more in uh, New York City region, but I think it'd be great to watch some of these Wins. amazing players compete in person. Bringing the pain. Wow. That was probably another 11 or 12 hit. Good corner punish. Getting run jabbed in the corner is no fun. Nice combo. Yeah, so this guy Linrox seems to be both good with uh, human and cyborg smoke. So I could be wrong, but I think Nightwolf is actually the physically uh, fastest character in the game. Quickest movement speed. Quickest walk. Wow, there you go. Oh. Unbelievable. The way these guys can just pull these combos out is astounding to me. Nightwolf back at it. Oh! That's some run jab going on there. That's the definition of run jab pressure. 
Mac doing his best to slow down the Night Wolf uh, train here. So my earliest Mortal Kombat 3 memories were uh, playing in my local arcade. They actually had it on free play. I was very spoiled as a child. Uh, and I would play on it. I'd have my little move book. And wow, amazing Mac corner punish there. Um, but yeah, everyone had their move books and you just mess around. And a lot of fun. These games were quite morbid when they came out. They were they really pushed the envelope and now they're a little bit more accepted, but when these came out they were legitimately scary. Got some invisible smoke. Nice. Ooh, air thrill. Come on, Cabal. So Linrock did finally get a win there. Oh. So that combo right there, I I play Cabal, I do not know how to do the jump in air combo like that. Oh nice. Alright, Linrock looking decent. Round two. Fight. Yeah, Cabal has some crazy run jab pressure. Air punish, this is just it's a work of art. 50% damage on a on an air punish. Nice. Yeah, that's the one tough thing to try to get out of a corner when you're getting a one jab. You got to do it. Essentially a leg leg poke there, but it doesn't do much other than buy you a little bit of space. And the other tough thing about doing the little leg poke is they can then combo. Your opponent can actually combo you from that leg poke because it opens you up to different combos. But for those of you who don't know what, what they're doing um, on the defensive, they're actually crouching and holding back and block at the same time. And that's the only way you can prevent being thrown. But when you do that, you also can become, like right here, you're becoming a victim of a run jab. They can just keep popping you back and back and getting the chip damage as well. I don't, I don't know how this guy, Krygor, anticipates these moves. He's essentially waiting for this guy in advance before he even does these things. Good corner pressure by Ermac. Can you do it? Oh, it's close. Nope. Krygor steals another one. Yeah, Linrock almost had him twice in a row. Yeah, these guys must know each other, though, because uh, it's no fun getting beaten up by a stranger in this game. It's happened to me many times. But I mean, uh, props to Fight K2 for featuring this game and allowing for people to play online because it's, uh, I mean, I think for the most part it's a really nice community. Most people I met online were super nice and supportive and cool and, you know, they actually stuck out the games. They didn't typically quit. Run jab to the max. Another thing I love with this game is uh, the soundtrack is excellent, Dan Forden. Uh, for those of you who have Spotify, they have the um, studio soundtracks for Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, Ultimate MK3, that is, uh, on Spotify. They're actually remastered as well. They're amazing to listen to if you've got a good set of speakers in the car. I'm back with the corner punish. Nice. I always interpret the toasty, you know, people putting the quarters in. I always take that as a bit of a taunt after a round. Not sure how else I'm supposed to interpret it. Cabal again with the run jet pressure. All right, another amazing air punish. It's ridiculous. And then an instant air fireball, which those are hard to do. I think you probably need an arcade stick, maybe a keyboard to do it. I cannot do one on controller. Ooh. If you notice he doesn't shoot the gas blast at the end, I think the reason why Krigor does that is so that he can set up the next set of moves uh, upon the wake up from his opponent. Right, one and one, let's see. He takes it. 
Invisible smoke. Wow. I took work of him. So I know Ketchup did a video where they ranked uh, each one of the characters from each game. For the number one character, he said it was actually Cabal for Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And I'm sure people all have their favorites, but uh, Cabal's pretty tough if you face someone. I mean, he's got the Gas Blast, he's got the, uh, the Whirly Bird Spin, whatever you want to call it. It's essentially like a Sub-Zero Freeze type move. Great combo. Right, you're mad. Oh, again. That might, that might be it. Oh, great air punish. I gotta learn how to do that. So, Krigor uh, shows his mastery. Thanks for watching.